any idea what this is? Are you stumped? Well, that's what we're gonna try and figure out in this edition of What the Heck Is That? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg, the author of Gadget Nation. I also appear on NBC's Today Show, routinely showcasing new products. I also appear at a lot of local stations around the country. And to help us figure out what the identity of this mystery product is, is our panelists. And here they are. First up, Lois Whitman Hess has worked in the world of public relations for more than 40 years. Her agency, HWHPR, has launched hundreds of new products. She also writes the very popular daily blog, DigiDane, and co-hosts the podcast, Lying on the Beach. She's also our Kitty Carlisle. And you, you kids at home, Google Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> Next, we have Harry Redlick. Harry, before social distancing, Harry was a very busy actor in the South Florida theater scene. He's also a filmmaker, published writer, and the former advertising creative director. He is also currently learning how to play the ukulele, and maybe later he'll give us a little demonstration. <laughs> and then, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm counting on that. And uh, Oliver Toll is with us. He is actor, comedian, talk show host, with 10,000 shows to his credit. He can currently be heard as host of the podcast, Improv by Instinct, which I think, I love that title because isn't that what life is? We're all improv by instinct. All of us are improvisers. That, that's what we're doing. And finally, we've got with us Kara Harper. She is the co-founder and spokesperson of Blushy, a beauty, um, a beauty accessories company, and often seen showcasing her pro company's products on QVC. And thank you for joining us. She has the flower background because she got married this weekend. Zoom wedding. I was there. And she's as far as we're concerned, she's still a bride. She's still a bride, so that's why she's in a flowers background. So the rules are, the, the our panelists look at the product. They get to uh, ask three questions each, yes or no questions. I try to answer them as best I can. And then we go back for one more round of one question each, and then they have to guess what that product is. So what the identity of the mystery product is, and that's what this is all about. So first up, I'm going to give you one thing I'm going to show you, so I'll make it a little bit easier for everybody. I'm, I'm leaving this area, going to the product area, just to show you that this can go on this, but huh? it doesn't have to. So that, that's, that's a little bit of a clue, very little bit of a clue. Okay, so Harry, you're up first. What the heck is that? I don't the heck know. <laughs> Any uh, three questions? All right. Uh, is this something that would be used by children? Could be, yes. Absolutely. OK. Um, is this uh, something uh, that you would use at a specific time of day? Definitely. It's definitely based on a specific time of day. Wow, I should get extra points for that one. Yes, you uh, should. Yes, you should. <laughs> but you can't, if you know what it is, don't tell us until the end. You know, don't tell us ahead of time if you do know. I have no idea, but I, 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 okay. that was a lot of guess. Um, is it something that you use in the morning? Yes, you can use this in the morning. Mm, that was your third question, I think. Yeah. Yes, it okay. was. Okay, we move on to our own Kitty Carlisle. Lois Whitman has. Lois, what do you think? Um, do you use this with a fruit or a vegetable? No. Hmm. Do you use it with an oral health care product? Oh, do you know this product already? Because you're cheating. I, do I have to not. know. I do oh, not. Okay. Because you may have represented this product for all I know. Yes. That answer is yes. Uh oh, we're gonna flip the cards over. I have a feeling. Go on. <laughs> um, do you wash it after you use this product? <laughs> no, you don't wash it after using the product. <laughs> oh 
okay. Well, those are her three, those are three questions, I believe, right? So now we move on to Oliver. Okay. Um, I may be drawing too much into this, but to me, it kind of <laughs> looks like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> It looks like a smiling Kermit the Frog. So is this uh, something you use to, is it for kids? Well, it, the company wants to market it to both kids and adults. Okay. So it has that optional thing, That's, but it could go either way. Okay, I, I know when people play 20 questions, a lot of times they will ask, is it bigger than a bread box? But this looks smaller. Oh, you can see the size, yeah. I, 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 I can even give you the hint of this okay. is my hand next okay. to it, so you have a, an idea of the size. Okay. Uh, and third, uh, if I showed this to my wife, would I get slapped? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I don't know your wife, so you might always get slapped, but assuming she's, I would say no. She would be like, oh, thank you, maybe. I don't think you'd get slapped. Okay. Oh. Maybe. Okay. okay. Next, we go to Tara for her three questions. Well, what are your thoughts, Tara? Okay. Is it used to hold something? It does hold something. Is that it's only use, just to hold something? No. No, 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 no. It does more than that. And I, I know you use it in the morning. Do you also use it at night? Yes. Um, use it inside? Yes. I think that's the last question. And the three we're on, I think. No, I think I think I already did three. Oh, you did three? See, that's the hard part of this game. We need some sort of electronic <laughs> that keep counting. Things. Yeah, there's where's my problem as host. I was like, okay, well, I can so keep going. <laughs> well, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna you're gonna get another question. We're gonna go back around for one follow-up question from each of you. Harry, what's your follow-up question about this mystery product? Do you use this product at meal time? No. Lois Whitman Hess, also known as Kitty Carlisle on our show. Do you use this product around your mouth? No. A oh, good guess. Okay, uh, Oliver. Um, uh, is, is it hypoallergenic? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say yes. There's no, nothing that's going to cause an allergy, so I'll, I'll give it a yes to that. Okay. And Tara? Do you use it in the shower? Some people do. Oh. I personally don't, but some people do. Okay, so those are your answers. Panelists, I need you to go to your Sharpies and tell us what the heck is that? Any idea? Mm. Okay, let's go to the panelists and see. It looks like everybody's done. Okay, no, Harry, no, you're no, up first. You oh, oh, hold on, hold on. She's writing it out longhand. <laughs> Calligraphy. I see. I got. It. She's using whiteout. <laughs> oh, that never works. I'm white. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what she's doing is making the whole paper black and then whiting out. <laughs> okay, so uh, Harry, go first. What do you? What? What the heck is, is it that? A, uh, a fingernail polisher. No, but an excellent guess. Damn. Lois Whitman Hess. What do you think that is? What the heck is that? A back scratcher. No. Okay, I really thought you were gonna get it because you had the best. You had the best question and answer, single person answer. Next, Oliver, what is that? I couldn't get past the idea that it looked like a frog and you use it inside. So is that Miss Piggy's IUD? <laughs> no, no, no. That, that, I was gonna have Miss Piggy's IUD, but we're getting it cleaned and then we're gonna get it cleaned. Thank you very much, no, that was not this Is that no, kosher? No. <laughs> it's never, no, no, it's not kosher at all. Uh, I've checked with rabbis about that. They're very, very clear. <laughs> And and Tara, I, heard she what the heck? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a hint. I'm gonna go over to the, the puppet stage over here. All right. And ah, uh, that it is, is a floss dispenser yeah. for kids oh. or adults. Oh. It does 
more than that because when you use it, it gives you a, a smiley face down here. It lights up this way. When you don't use it after 24 hours, it gives you a frowny face and it, it lights up in red as opposed to lighting up in blue. But that's the idea. Uh, uh, uh. But what is that other and piece? This piece is for kids. It's exactly the same product, but it just kind of makes it more fun for a kid's bathroom, I would guess. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, and never guess Lois, Lois said, asked if it had to do with the, with uh, the teeth. Or, she said oral health. She said oral, oral health. health. Mm -hmm. And we I didn't go sure down thought. That. I think, I he think Steve it. threw us off because we were trying to guess what that yellow thing was and that <laughs> other thing. Uh, you get that, that's what makes three, it. Steve, you get three questions why you should remain the host of this show. <laughs> Boy, I, oh, that Lois, that Lois, she's so tough on me. Okay, so again, panelists, great challenge. Thank you very much. Next time, we'll have another mystery product that you'll have to uh, figure out the identity to. Uh, so again, and we'll, and when we see that product, we're going to ask ourselves the question: What the heck is that? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Exactly. <laughs> hey, so we'll see you next time. Thank you very much, panelists. Bye. Bye. Thank you.